Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yamini. I'm a co-founder and the CEO of Wimo. Wimo is about uh, three years old as a product. Prior to that, I used to work as a consultant with McKinsey. Most of my time there, I'd done about 21 projects trying to drive sales productivity up in financial institutions, many of them large uh, banks and insurers and brokerages like yours. Uh, most, our most challenging aspect of these transformation programs was that we never had baseline data on what salespeople were actually doing. Not that they were not busy, it's just they found it too tedious to open their CRMs and either log their activities or plan their calendars. Now, in absence of this data, we had to answer questions like, what happened to 95% of leads that did not convert? Uh, or how come some of my customer accounts, which are more than a year old with me, have still got only one product within that account? How come we have not cross-sold anything else to them? And the challenge is not knowing whether it was because of lack of engagement, you do not actually meet the customer after the first sale, or was it a lot of engagement, but certain skill gaps, so the person who is managing the account probably is not the most proficient about a certain product uh, or a certain customer need, right? Or is it because he's actually pretty good, he's putting in a lot of effort, but things are not just working out, maybe you have the wrong proposition for that segment. So how do you learn? And if you don't learn, how do you improve productivity? So even uh, when I was at McKinsey, we realized that over a couple of decades, sales, average sales productivity of distribution teams, uh, acquisition and relationship management teams, had actually not changed dramatically over the last couple of decades. And that's a shocker, all right? So then I teamed up with a friend, a very close friend, who was at that point working in Mountain View with the Google Assistant team to build Wimo, which we call the Personal Sales Assistant. Wimo is a mobile-first plugin on top of a CRM. It does three things. Firstly, it automatically detects all engagement activities between your salesperson and the customer, and it detects them without the need for any manual data entry. Second, it uses this to create a 360 view of what the relationship strength as well as the engagement level has been. Third, it uses that to do two things for the salesperson. One is actively suggest a next best, next best action for him, which is immediately after the call or meeting what he could get done and does that for him. Secondly, it helps him identify where engagement is lagging and better interaction could help him achieve his targets, whether they are monthly or quarterly tar targets, right? Let me now switch to a demo. <clears throat> so here is a view of Wimo. I'll quickly jump onto a customer profile. This is a list of customers that I'm handling. In the case of uh, scenarios like insurance, where you are actually dealing with a set of brokers and financial advisors, this could be your list of brokers that you're working with. Uh, let's pick one particular example, ABC Associates. This. Um, we have scraped data either from the CRM or sometimes even public information available on what ABC Associates say is a mid-sized organization, one of our target customers and commercial uh, banking arm, for example. The second section that you see here shows what the business potential of this account could be. And it could be through simple uh, information that's available already in your systems or through the salesperson's feedback or even public information like total employee strength, size of the book, total number of assets they hold, et cetera, right? And against that, we actually know from your backend systems what the business um, with this account is, basis which we could calculate something like total uh, wallet share, right? Now, if you see, you actually have very good wallet share on one product, but not on the other product, which becomes your straightforward cross-sell opportunities, right? Now, using this information, Wimo would automatically segment your entire account list or customer portfolio through into a few thumb rules. For example, the fact that this is a platinum account for you, which is a large potential account with limited engagement and less than, ide I, uh, I, uh, less than ideal wallet share, uh, Wimo might recommend that, hey, the right frequency of engagement, if you see the last two sections, is monthly through face-to-face -face meeting. How would it identify this? Because Wimo can detect activities, and I'll show you how, across across the board, right? So it knows what the top reps are doing with their top accounts where they have actually managed to drive cross-sell and acquisitions up, right? So we would know that for this kind of a sponsor within the account, you would need a certain level of frequency to be able to drive up conversion. Now, using all of this, Wimo would be able to create a profile of what is really required to drive uh, penetration to the account, right? Now, say I have called ABC Associates. Here is where the tricky part starts. How do you know what the person is actually doing with these accounts? 
At the end of the call, the tool automatically detects that a call happened, asks me very quickly, how did it go? I say, good, add notes. Uh, remind me to send the mortgage document to this account. Right, quickly done that, right? Updates the system for me. But here is a catch. So it's automatically detected that the call has happened. And there are more than seven scenarios we handle here. You call me, but I miss the call. I call you, but you miss the call. And what the next best action, or we had a long call, and what the next best action in each scenario could be. But that's not what salespeople do. They would never open Wymo or Salesforce or Dynamics to make a call ever, right? They just go to their phone history. They would say, hey, you know what? That 6532 is Mark. I need to call him back, right? So they would do that. Wymo would still detect that scenario and take you through that same journey. Hey, this time he didn't answer. So you try to call, but there was no answer. What would you like to do next, right? So um, in this scenario, we have been able to capture all information around call-related engagement. Similarly, we have something called geofencing, through which if it's uh, commercial banking, for example, we would know location of their offices and therefore time being spent with these customers. At the end of a visit, we can even detect a geofence exit and ask similar questions. What this helps do is capture a lot of information that is freshly within the sales, fresh in memory of the salesperson, right? And log that back into the system for you. Six months after rollout, we have been able to enrich customer and account profiles by almost 100% more data than what was originally present in the CRM. While doing all this, we have managed to create a history of actual engagement with this customer. We also have email and messaging integration. So at the end of it, it's very easy for Wymo to tell the sales manager or the salesperson, hey, here are 30 accounts you have not at all engaged. But who looks at reports, right? Who looks at lists like that and says, let me clear out my calendar and make 30 calls? No one does that. So what Wymo actually does is looks at your calendar and says, listen, you have six things planned. Here are a couple that I could suggest to you.